Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm, I'm very happy that I can tell here of our uh, very interesting uh, study of the Finnish link. It's a cooperation with two uh, countries, with two regions, and with two capitals. And uh, we had uh, one year time to make this feasibility study. And uh, I said here, so the results and the impacts of that to Ray Baltica. First, the same idea which you have already heard today many times that uh, Finland is uh, like an island from the rest of Europe in east north corner. And uh, even if Helsinki is uh, in a, as a T section of two uh, uh, European 10 T network corridor, there is a missing link between Helsinki and Tallinn. Uh, we must make for the feasibility the technical concept. And I can say that the technical concept is quite easy to make because now it's in construction many big tunnel projects in Europe. It's two separate tunnels for trains, one tunnel there between for maintenance and safety. Then when the tunnel length is over 100 kilometer, we need two artificial islands where, where we can uh, start to make the tunnel for uh, each direction that the uh, construction time could not be very, very long. And it was very happy that when we make the uh, geological uh, investigations in the sea area, in both countries, in their uh, own area, was uh, pla places where the earth was very near the uh, sea surface. And uh, in both countries, uh, the idea was that we make the uh, conventional railway tunnel and with good connections to both countries uh, existing or in near future being a rail network. If I start from Finland, the situation is uh, that we shall have three stations in Finland area, or a tunnel station in Helsinki center in Pasila, where we are making a new center near Helsinki city, and then under the airport area. And then we can go up on the ground level and uh, have there all terminals and depots for this connection. The reason why we must be uh, in the tunnel station in the city of Helsinki is that we have so much tunnels in the Helsinki city area, and they are so deep that the uh, tunnel will be in Helsinki center minus 70 meters under the ground level, and even in Pasila, uh, about 40 meters under ground level. And I think many of you know that uh, we have now a ring railway uh, to the airport, and there we have a tunnel station. This new station will be near this tunnel station in the same level, and then it has the connection to our main railway to the north. The reason that we uh, must have a, uh, it is important for Finland that that way uh, the Helsinki airport is really a growing hub, it is already nowadays. It has grown for very many years, and the one reason it is the shortest uh, 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 flying to the Asia and uh, the Finnair has had uh, their very good plan to make Finland very important airport hub in Europe.
In Estonia, uh, the line comes under the Vimsi Peninsula and then on the ground level near Muga Harbour, so we can use the Muga terminal two in first phases for uh, the straight traffic and the passenger stations will be near the Udemesti uh, passenger station. So it has good connection to the rail Baltica. And I has this, uh, that uh, underground rock spaces is very usual in Finland. We have about 400 kilometer tunnels under the city of Helsinki. And uh, this tunnel would not be the longest tunnel in Finland because we have already 120 kilometer year, a kilometer long Pajanne Helsinki water tunnel. And it has built in 82 and it works very well and brings all drinking water to Helsinki area. When we go then the, uh, for uh, our estimation for volumes, then we have the passenger volume. It has grown uh, quite many years, about four or five percent. But in our estimations, we are uh, thinking that it can't uh, go bigger and bigger every year. So it goes about two percent to 2030, and that after one percent. And if there is no tunnel, then there will be about 250, about 14 million passengers with ferries. But if we make a tunnel, then in the tunnel we have over 12 million passengers, and the most of them are commuters, because nowadays there is about 6,000 people from Estonia or Finland who are working in, their, uh, in other countries, and they are, most of them are coming weekly to the uh, other country. And uh, same time is the situation that uh, the ferry traffic will grow too little what it's nowadays. Now it's uh, nine million passengers per year, and it will, in our uh, uh, study be about 10.5 million euros in 2050. Then we make the cargo, cargo volume estimations. Now it's a little less than 4 million tons per year. If uh, there is no tunnel, it can be about 7 million tons per year. And uh, in two, uh, with tunnel 8 tons, 0.5 million per year. And uh, from Finland, we have about 100 million tons per year going cargo uh, with the ferries every year. And uh, this is less than 10% of this. But uh, the situation is same as we see from the Muga study, that the cargo goes mostly to the eastern part of the Europe. And uh, there are the potential cargo volumes uh, for each uh, boat direction. It's quite si same. And uh, if you think which kind of cargo there can be, their paper, about 30%, machinery, 25%, Manufactured business goods, 15%, chemicals, 10%, and other types of about 20% in our estimations. But how much there will be in the tunnel and how much uh, there are fairly, it will be a hard competition with ferry companies as it has been in China Tunnel 2, and uh, our estimation is uh, that. In, that uh, in uh, our that uh, there is about half of the comes with ferries and half of them with uh, uh, trains. Then we have 
uh, must have some ideas how we operate the tunnel, uh, what kind of traffic we will have there. They will have about 40 passengers days per train, and the maximum in, in the tunnel is 200 kilometers per hour. Uh, with the 11 car shuttle trains, same time as they are in Channel Tunnel, 12 truck shuttle trains, same idea in Channel Tunnel, and about three cargo trains per uh, day. And they are uh, operating in this time there is, when there is not so much traffic. And I have these slides where we have uh, uh, compared the results of the, the Baltic, uh, Baltica volumes for freight, and we can see that the volumes are quite the same level as in our boat, boat studies. Then we have the uh, economic impacts of finest links. We have the normal benefits and costs for traffic uh, investments. And then in this kind, when we make quite new uh, transport system, the wider economical impacts are very important. And this is uh, in our uh, case too. Only as a transport uh, project, the cost estimation is 16 billion euros. Uh, the cost ratio is uh, 0 0.45. And the reason is that uh, there is not so much habitants and uh, cargo to uh, go with that uh, model. But when we take uh, two, the wider impact, economic impacts, the agglomeration, labor supply, work re relation, uh, competitions, we will get it uh, uh, about uh, so that it's a little over one. But I think uh, we have the problem, how we can predict all these things when the Rebatica is starting now to do, and uh, we don't have the right uh, knowledge of the whole system, how it will be work in the future. We know that the, the vision of Helsinki Tallinn Tunnel recurs Rebatica, it's very important. But it's very important gateway to uh, eastern part of Europe from no uh, high north to the Black Sea, and then it has the connection to Asia. So the uh, operation model and all the intermodal terminals which we with here, uh, we, we are Ray Baltica, it's very important that we have uh, success with the whole traffic system. And uh, we have in both countries, the problem that all, or, or countries Baltic countries and Finland, that our gates is different than the Euro European gates, and that's the terminal systems and they, how they work are very important in the future. And last, some slides there. When we have uh, only this conventional rail system for freight and tra uh, passenger traffic, we have an open challenge to the companies who had new idea ideas how in the future the transport will be. And we have six ideas, Hyperloop, you have heard them, the Marklev, it is already existing in Japan, in Shanghai. Then there were new ideas of capsules. Then one project is the fin bay, Finnest Bay area, the Western Park project, which you maybe have heard, it's more of a real estate project. Then the Anchor Tunnel, so Anchor Tunnel, and then there was one idea so that we can have uh, both gates in the same tunnel. And in the, when we go on with our project, as we heard, we have the task force, 
we must uh, study to some of these new ideas. Are they better, or is this conventional rail system with the rail Baltic and the whole transport uh, system the best solution? And you can see the results of our study and the, uh, all sub-reports which will be there after one or two weeks in our website. Thank you.